Hey guys, DJAJ101 with you here, and this is an installation video into my Mac Pro of the Lighton IHAS124-04 internal DVD writer. This is a brand new DVD recording drive, player drive that I got for my Mac. And as you guys can see, it's pretty basic around the outside. It, um, you know, it has an eject button on the front, along with the tray that pushes out, as well as on the back, it has a SATA and power connector, so you can actually connect this up to your computer and get the data written to and from the drive. Uh, no big deal there and of course it also has the mounting holes on the side of the unit so you can mount this in any PC or Mac that you would have. So the first thing that you're going to want to do to get this drive ready to get put into this Mac Pro is you're actually going to want to remove the front little bezel on the front of this DVD drive simply because the bezel doesn't need to be on there and it will cause problems when trying to go through the sliding door that Apple has on the current Mac Pro units. First you take a little paper clip, push it into that hole so it manually ejects the drive, pull it out a bit, and then once you have it just set it on your table and you just kind of wiggle the bezel off of it from either side to side and it has little clips that kind of pop off and and it will remove the bezel on the front really easily. The next thing you're going to want to look at is going directly to the Mac Pro itself. Now the door on the Mac Pro, you simply flip up the latch in the back, take off the side door, and then once you have the side door off, you will see the carrier drive bays for the two DVD or Blu-ray drives that you can put into the unit. I just have one in this unit. I've always had one, and I don't really need any more. I don't use this all that often. So in order to get the drive carrier out, as you can see, there's two little kind of square block holes there where you can put your fingers in, and you just kind of wiggle it back and forth until it comes out uh, but you just disconnect the SATA cables off the back and uh, you have the drive unit after you take the drive bay out you will see on the side of the drive bay that they have all the screws already supplied if you did want to put a second drive in there but we're gonna want to remove the primary drive and use the existing screws so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm just gonna remove the screws from the drive bay uh, holding that current drive in there four screws take just a little while to get out of there but once I do I will slowly but surely slide the old unit out and then I will slide the new one back in and again it's pretty simple you just line the screw holes up with the brand new drive that you are putting in this drive bay and just using the pre-existing screws making sure that everything goes in there fine I'm kinda of switching back and forth to make sure that it's in there correctly that it's not slanted or tilted that it's in there correctly and after you do have all the screws in there you should be all set to put it back inside the Mac Pro itself and as you guys can see on the actual cables itself in the Mac Pro is labeled A and B for the first drive which would be A and the second drive which would be B we're going to want to use the same cable connection that was on the old unit so I'm going to plug it back up making sure that the wires are comfortably getting seated back in there and there are little uh, I guess little pegs on the bottom then once we have the new drive inside the Mac Pro we are ready to put the cover on and fire up the computer making sure that this new drive will work and then we just want to try pressing the e eject key on on the actual drive itself right from your keyboard or right from your computer really doesn't matter and as long as the drive slides out you know you're all set to go but anyways guys that's gonna about do it for me I just wanted to thank you guys again for watching and rate this video up and subscribe if you happen to like my content I sure do appreciate that also feel free to check out my YouTube channel and I will leave a link for this drive in the description below I did get it from tigerdirect.com it looks like a pretty good drive and if anything comes up I will let you guys know but anyways thank you for watching this video I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video have a great one till then